My name is Trish. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Rend it already. <laughs> the first time I felt it, I was on my way home from work. I could feel it deep in my chest. I thought, oh, wow. I felt that for a few days. I thought I'd better call the doctor because it wasn't getting any better. And they had me come in and do an x-ray. When I got the results back, she said there was definitely something there and they wanted to get a CT scan done of it. They just needed to figure out what it was and set me up for a PET scan. Then after the PET scan, that's when we had the first consult with the doctor and said that it looked like it was stage four lung cancer that had spread. Consistently getting a, a diagnosis that matches what is going on with the patient's images is truly rewarding for the patient, and not only for the patient, but for us as well, right? Because we're trying to do the best we can for them. We want to get them an answer, whether it be an infection or malignancy. I don't, doesn't matter. The goal is you've got a problem in there and we want to be able to help you solve that to, to be able to take care of it for you. In my head, I was preparing for a lot that I needed to get ready for me not to be here anymore. Mentally, I was not okay. A lot of sleepless nights, even medication couldn't put me to sleep. And the wait and see process is mentally exhausting. And I was not mentally okay. It was, it was a long time. It felt like forever, it felt like an eternity to find out exactly what was going on. Stress hits us very, very hard. And that stress over extended period of time whether it be three, six, 12 months, because some of our guidelines say, well, if it's five millimeters, either number one, you don't need another CT scan, or if you're high risk, consider a repeat CT scan in 12 months. If you're stressing over that over a year's period of time, could that give you issues? And very possibly. I have three biological children and three bonus children, very close-knit family. I just sat down with my kids and just, mainly said to them, this is what the doctor said, when nobody thinks that that's what it is, but this is what was said, just to let you guys know, I'll be going through a lot of a doctor's appointments and hope with some stuff, and I just need you guys to be there and, and be strong and be brave. In the world of cancer and looking for a second opinion, it really is more reassurance to the, the patient and their family on whether or not it's a true diagnosis, and that can be life-altering treatment. And so I think second opinions are a good thing in the world. It keeps us confident in what we're doing and keeps us in the realm of trying to provide the best type of care out there. I didn't like my, my diagnosis. It wasn't good enough for me. And I felt like I needed, there, there had to be something else. I waited two months. I waited two months to get from the time I found they found the spot to the Monarch. I have a friend that's a surgeon at the hospital and he connected me with Dr. Pearson. I was asked to review her CT and see if I could provide a different insight or confirm the insight that the other provider had. I saw a patrician in clinic and we just uh, talked about it, talked about her risk factors for having potential lung cancer and those other things. And it's like, well, yes, it, it's possible that it could be a cancer, but in her situation, it seemed more likely to not be a cancer. Um, but the only way to know is to get a good tissue sample out of it. And so we talked about whether or not we should do a surgery, whether or not we should do a bronchoscopy or have somebody stick a needle from the outside. With that discussion, she elected to go through with robotic bronchoscopy because it had the least amount of potential complications. And with Monarch, I was able to get deeper into her lung, biopsy multiple different sites with confidence and accuracy. I can do a regular bronchoscopy, but having that right tool gives you confidence, gives you precision, and it makes you efficient. The right tool in the right hands can truly change the world of lung cancer. And that's what I think Monarch is doing. After you wake up, they get your family and they bring him in and talk to them. And right then he said, I didn't see anything that looked like cancer. That's as simple as it was. And then I was fine. And I get a call from Dr. Pearson himself and he had not seen anything. Nothing grew on the cultures cancerous. So I was 100% it was not cancer. 
I just want to tell everybody right then at the same time, he didn't see anything. That was the best news ever. To be able to tell her it's not cancer, we had an answer back within three days, which is a breath of fresh air, right? I mean, that's just, we can, we can breathe. I have never felt such a desire to just feel the earth under my feet, feel the air in my lungs, just be present in every moment.